y'all it's paula with hillbilly orchids welcome back to my channel i hope everybody's having a fantastic day i am looking to get some repottings done um i should have had should have already had this one done this little um stortiana that i got from um yoshi should have already had it done i'm, I'm mad at myself because this leaf kind of fell forwards and the wind knocked it into the tag that was in front and it cut that that brand new leaf so that's why that piece is on there to kind of keep it more stable but yes i should have should have already had this one out of this stinking thing i don't i don't do well with these or moss at all um I don't know and I'm trying a different angle with my um, with my camera so hopefully <laughs> hopefully I can get more in zoom because uh, some of the some of the cat layers I'm gonna be filming today are gonna be monsters so uh, of course one of them behind you you see the um, the Louise Fuchs couldn't think the uh, Maikai, okay. Louise, Louise Fuchs. The, okay, start over, Paula. The Maikai, Louise. <laughs> oh, mercy. I'll tell you, I'm having a day already. Um, I just, just did weekend walk around, and I, knew, I said its name during weekend walk around because I said, I said, I'll never forget that one as long as I live because uh, Bobby Jeffries, he has it. And um, he said that the main reason it was hit one of his favorite plants is because his mom's name was Louise. And uh, so here I am calling it Louise Fuchs. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess hopefully y'all forgive me for my craziness. <laughs> uh, I tell you, I think sometimes if I didn't laugh so much, I'd cry all the time. <laughs> uh, anyways, I hope everybody else is having a better day though. Just because I'm having uh, old timers set in and take my memory from me. Don't mean you have to, huh? But, yes, time, time to get this one repotted. Time to see how bad she's going to fuss on me. She already lost one small leaf. Um, so, hope that, <laughs> hope that ain't the start of more. Shh. <laughs> Shh, don't say that real loud. Shh. I love you, little plant. I love you. Alright, that's basically all the moss off. So, let me grab a pot. Uh, actually, I'm going to spray that one with, um, Spray that one with a little bit of peroxide because I do all my new new plants uh, that I don't you know that come from different places I do that because you don't know you know you don't know where they came from you don't know where you know Yoshi got them from uh, and just precautionary you know nothing nothing more than that so spray it with 3% um, hydrogen peroxide yeah, I don't know if I'm going to like this angle. I have no room on this table, and it really makes it hard, especially when I'm trying to do bigger plants. So, um, you know, because you can't seem to fit it all in there, which really the Maikai is not, you can't fit her in there really well either. So she's kind of, kind of, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, kind of smushed in the screen. I think I'm going to go very big on this one. I'm going to shoot for a three inch, but I guess it's going to have to be the four inch. Because I really wanted a four inch is a little too big in my book, but... Yeah, 
I guess it's just gonna have to do. But yeah, and also it's time for it's time for this one to get fixed. Um, Michael McCarthy. That was a gift from Michael McCarthy, and um, she when she came, uh, the net pot she was in busted, so I have to do something with her, and I've, I've been putting it off. I wanted to kind of give her a chance to acclimate real good and um, kind of, you know, breathe for a minute and, and get in here and get acclimated and um, not, you know, I didn't want to jump on her and repot right away, so plus I wanted to see the blooms for a little bit, which you know, they are fantastic. Um, they are cute. Cute, cute as a button. And you know what's funny is, is I'm not really a spot person. Like, I don't... Spots are not my favorite, but... You just can't deny that lip on her. You just can't. And uh, the fact that the spots are muted on the petals and sepals... Just crazy. Crazy. I mean, like, you can see they're, they're not muted on the back side of the petals and sepals. But they are on the front side. They're muted because they're all in the back. But very interesting. Very, very interesting. But I'm super stoked to have her in my, you know, in my grow space now. So really, really happy that, you know, she's here. But anyways, um, yeah, of course, uh, we're using Orchid Supply Store uh, pots and media. Um, like I said, uh, not the coconut husk, though. This right here finishes off my coconut husk, so the next batch we will be using all the media will be from the orchid supply store. So it's, it's like I said, our usual charcoal, um, perlite, and um, orchiata bark. Oops, if I step on that, that's going to hurt. Rolled right off my hand. So, um... But yeah, the whole the whole mix other than the coconut husk. But like I said, eventually that will be that will be all of the husk. So hang on, let me let this one set for a few minutes, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, y'all, I am back. Um, went ahead and I, I sprayed the roots off with some water after uh, the. Um, peroxide sat on it for 10 minutes so you don't have to do that um it's just a choice thing that i do it's my own um it's my own way it's just i do that way I have always done it that way so because your peroxide turns to water afterwards so after the effect so it's um not necessary This one should be pretty easy, cut and dry. The roots are wide open, so the bark and stuff should basically go in the right area. So it shouldn't be hard. Um, should be a pretty easy repot. Basically, there she be. I didn't write on the tag the date, so I'm going to put the repot date if I can find my marker. So that one is done. So let me move and get her out of the way, and we'll get started on the Maika. All right, we are back. Time to now try. Not sure I like this camera angle either any better, honestly. <laughs> uh, like I said, my table's so small. It's so, 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 so small. It really bugs me. See, I can't, it's kind of like it's in the way because I can't reach my pots to the back of the table. But yeah, see how, um, see how the, the net pot busted. And um, so we got to get that fixed got to get that fixed and I think she's been here enough um, and like I said the blooms have been the blooms have been on enough that you know if I lose them this time I lose them I mean because it's just time that she really needs something done so this time she's getting it done should should be pretty uh, 
pretty easy. I actually think if I can move this, this uh, media out of the way would help me. But where do I set it? <laughs> Just have no space. No space. Move my little garbage can over here, maybe, possibly, and um, set the media on the little garbage can. Yeah, I needed to get her um, needed to get her done too, cause she's. Uh, you know the pot's busted and I don't have her in that great a light and I'm not not so happy about that oh I forgot that she has a she has a rhizome clip oh, that could explain why she ain't coming up out there so easy oh I see how I knew it was on there but without thinking Whoops, I broke a leaf. Dang it. Yeah, she can get top heavy, so that probably is why he used a rhizome clip because, oh boy, look at that big old charcoal chunks in the bottom. Hmm. Oh, and she's in uh, coconut husk too. She's in more coconut husk than anything, isn't she? Well, might not need to fuss too much with what she's in as much as getting her into another pot. See all these new new roots off these new growths are what I don't want to bother and mess with much. You know what I mean? That's uh, Definitely what we don't want to do. I don't want to Don't really want to disturb her much than that much more than I have to you know Hopefully you didn't send me any frogs. <laughs> I Think I would have done seeing them around the grow room had you sent me any more frogs. It was so funny one time Michael sent me some uh, I forget what it was uh, Cat Leia something I think and um a frog came all the way, all the way from Florida, Just right in the potting media, never moved. It was so funny. Well, I tell you, I'm really curious now if I should, um, I mean, you do have good drainage on her, but um, mostly she's all coconut husk. Huh, 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 huh. I, what is that? I have no idea. It's a hard ball something. Um, I used, I mixed my coconut husk. I didn't realize that she was in mostly coconut husk. So, um, let me see what I can't finagle with my media, guys, and um, hang on, I'll be right back. I don't want to, you know what I mean, I don't want to set her back. So, hang on. Okay, we are back, and I'm going to go with my mix, because luckily, I got to talk to Michael, and he said that, um, that, he just used what he had during COVID and um, plus being in a net pot you know would drain outside in Florida really quickly so I'm like okay sounds good to me so he said whatever I put it in it should be just fine so I'm like Phew. okay because I, I was going to have to try to wait and pop this up tomorrow because I didn't have let's see if this uh, fit this pot Might. If I need it, we'll use it. 
but um, yeah, if not, I was going to have to try to um, mix up or make up some more and just re finish her repot tomorrow. So, now we are going to go ahead and go with my mix and get her potted up. She shouldn't have to wait no longer than she has to to get in here and get get going. So she's going in a six inch um, orchid supply store pot. One of the real good thick nice 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 pots. Um, I am leaving um, leaving a little bit of room in front here because she does have a new growth here. But also, this is a new growth, so I'm kind of trying to center her to where both of them growths are kind of um, going towards the front. You know what I mean? So, because that's the way she's going to grow, obviously. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully this don't mess up her blooms, but it, it very well could. There's always, always a chance anytime anything's in bloom. Um, you never know. Um, so, always, always a chance. So, like I said, I, I really, really needed to get her potted up. Didn't need to chance it any, any longer that, um, you know, she was in that broken pot and stuff. And, um, really wanted to get her done up. So, really cautious of that growth. Yeah, I was a little nervous because I thought, well, he had her in moss, or in moss, <laughs> he had her in husk. So I'm thinking, I'm like, well, maybe she needs lots of moisture. So that kind of scared me. And I was like, uh, well, I probably shouldn't have mixed up all my stuff. I've done that a time or two. I should always uh, wait. But I, I knew I was going to be videoing it, so I wanted to make sure I had all my stuff ready, you know. So I didn't want to really, I start and stop enough, so I really didn't want to have to stop and start with you guys a lot to um to get her done and uh still wound up starting and stopping a lot i guess you'll have that but hopefully she should go ahead and take off in this pot now get her established and get her i want to get her under some brighter light too like i said i didn't uh didn't really um, have her under bright, bright light. And uh, I had her set to the side because, um, you know, she did, she was grown outdoors. So anything that I have that anybody sends me that grows outdoors, I just automatically treat it. You know, I bug treat it and I quarantine it and, you know, just safe practices is all. Um, I have enough time fighting with spider mites. <laughs> I have about enough time fighting off them little, little spidey mites. So I try to avoid everything else at all costs. So, well, that pretty much so looks like that's it, you guys. She is good to go. I'll get her a, a new mask and, uh, yeah, she looks pretty good. So, um, get her new mask, let her get on her way to growing and doing good. So, with that said, I appreciate y'all stopping by and hanging out with me. And bye for now. Till we meet again, y'all.